Something that I'm using is this antique Xeon timing light. Uh, it's one of the ones that connects to the battery. Um, and then over here to an inductive clamp on cylinder number one. You can get all kinds of fancy ones now. This is uh, just an old cheapy one, um, but works quite well. Made in Taiwan before Taiwan was known for making good things, probably. Um, but yeah, for about a hundred bucks, you can get um, uh, the new style ones, which have an angled head. You can set the timing. You can also check um, where you can offset the timing back to zero, and then see if it lines up. Uh, and you can also check dwell and other things, but. Um, this one's been hanging around for a really long time and it does a job. Okay, so I've been diagnosing some spark ignition issues with my V6 Commodore. Um, and we came to the conclusion that uh, the computer was commanding the right spark advance, but it wasn't getting delivered to the coil pack um, DFI. So uh, the reason, the, well, the way we verified that is by marking out the crank balancer installing a pointer. So these are computer controlled um, spark advance so there's no pointer for you to set or reference points so we marked it out on the balancer by finding top dead center and we did this with installing a piston stop in cylinder number one so on the compression stroke for cylinder number one uh, as you wind it up it'll stop and then yeah, it's the little white dot that you see there then you wind it in the opposite direction and it will stop which is that white dot there and between those two is top dead center which is that line, the long line with the zero uh, from there marked out a couple of degrees before and after so this engine turns clockwise when you're looking at it from the balancer end uh, so on the right hand side is degrees before top dead 10 degrees and 20 degrees uh, the long lines and the little lines are halfway in between, so five degree increments. Um, to calculate how far you have to go uh, around the circumference when you're marking it out, it's a simple formula, which I'll show you later on if you're interested. 16 millimeters around the circumference equates to 10 crank angle degrees. So what we'll do is hook up the timing light and um, check the timing. have the inductive timing light all hooked up and the ignition timing at idle is set to 15 degrees so let's fire it up and have a look The um, that startup was cold. <clears throat> I'm running E85. Um, it's about 21 degrees today, and as you can see, it just died first up. That's fired first up. That's the uh, first start of the day.